Hey, what's going on folks? Bienvenue. My name is Wade and this is Sabine River Valley. Well, it's that time. Finally hit the big 50 hour mark and um, we're going to be changing out the fluids on the uh, TYM T654. And uh, I'm going to try to do it um, as quick as possible because I don't want to spend the whole day um, buried in oil and hydraulic fluid. So, um, yeah. Let's, uh, let's get to it and uh, get this done. So let's go over a few things that I've got that I'm going to be working with. Um, first off, we're going to start with the actual oil change. So um, I am a Valvoline fan, Valvoline oil fan. Um, you know, it's just a preference, personal preference. And so um, I am going with their 15... W40, the premium blue, um, heavy duty oil. Um, I got it on sale. Let's open this up. I got it on sale um, at Napa. Um, had a big sale on it. So um, I'm going to go with this for my oil. And then. Um, for filters, um, going to my bag of goodies here, I, um, have a, a genuine, uh, Deutz, um, fuel filter for this, so OEM filter for this tractor, and I know that, um, you know, I've heard stories about, um, the Olympic thumb wrestler that, um, that screws on the filters at the TYM uh, factory for these tractors, um, you know, and sometimes they're hard to get off. Um, you know, he's, he's kind of a strong dude with a strong grip. So um, what I've done is I've got me a couple of things here, a few really, I've got a strap wrench um, and then I've bought me a couple of other things. So um, I've got some of these. I don't know if you're familiar with these, but um, this is the small one. I've got a little bit larger one in there. So I can use a, uh, I believe it's a 3.8 uh, socket, uh, a ratchet, a 3.8 uh, a 3.8 ratchet on this. So um, that's my uh, one thing that I've got to try. And then I've also got me a 12 inch uh, uh, chain wrench just in case I need that so um, so I am uh, yeah I'm, I'm still in the suburbs not very not very much longer uh, we are almost out of here but um, so I'm here and we've got kind of a, a hill um, this driveway and as it comes down it right before it goes into the garage it kind of kind of goes back up. I don't know if you can see this. And so I am on a, I'm on a hill. It's not, this is not level. But what I've done is, is I've backed up over where it goes down and then where it comes back out. And I'll show you what I did in the tractor. Let's see. So this is what I did. And, and, and I don't know if this is right or not, but I know that I want to get as level as possible with this. So what I do is I take a small level and um, I put it in the tractor and you can tell I'm off right now. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start this up and I'm gonna back this up and the, as I back it up, it's gonna go up that hill and it just needs to come up just a hair. So that's what we're gonna do real quick. Oh, look, this is funny. So I can see that bubble on the top and it is almost there. I mean, it 
All right. That is it, folks. You can see that. We are good to go. Okay, so I've got two, um, I believe two sides of this that we need to drain. So, um, let's see, these are 17 millimeter uh, bolts on each side. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to loosen them. If I can. There we go. Then, over here, I don't know if you can see this. So both of those are finger tight. Um, I got me a, a nice little tub uh, from from Walmart. It's this. Uh, let's see if you can see that. It's this uh, hyper tough 16 quart drain container. So um, I'm going to make sure it's open so it can drain in there. And let's see how much of a mess we cannot make. Now I got a I got a plan here. There is um what is this? This is part of the frame here. Um, this oil I'm pretty sure is gonna shoot out. Can you see that? Yeah. So I'm pretty sure this is going to shoot out and hit this. And then I don't know what's going to happen. So what I did is I went and bought me one of these flexible make a funnel, make your own funnel thing. So I'm going to try to keep that from happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to maneuver this. Man, these YouTubers are right. One-handed work is difficult oh. Oh, let's see. it is difficult Let's in there to get my fingers up in there all right i'm okay letting the bolt just fall out because it'll fall down the funnel into the into the catch out here. So there we go. Oh, and it is spilling everywhere. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Oh, it's spilling over. It's spilling over. Oh, it's everywhere. Oh. Ugh. All right, so I just got oil all over the place. Um, here's the deal. My little catch, my container. Um, I had the cap off to let it drain in, but I didn't have the, there's a little end here, cap, and I had that closed, and it wasn't allowing air to flow through, and, um, and, allowing the oil to drain down into the container fast enough. So it just completely overflowed everywhere here. So now I do have cardboard laid down over there, but not right here. So I'm gonna have to get this up real quick and try to get, uh, I got some stuff I can pour on this. So uh, let me do that real quick and I will be back. I got the other side off and that was uh, much better. Um, and so it is, uh, just about done dripping 
I've been dripping here for a few minutes. So um, I'm gonna get that closed up and then we will um, we'll get that, that filter off, see how much more oil we can spill. And um, then we'll get, uh, get her some new fluids in her. And see, I've got my little tool here. Got a ratchet on there and I've never done this before. So let's see if this one is a booger. see this here we go it's moving So, should come straight down. Let's see if it does. Oh, is this gonna be a mess? I'm nervous, guys. Oh, come on. Let's see here. Let's put you back where you were a second ago. That worked pretty well. All right, I gotta keep this from sliding out. Comes. Come on. Please. Okay, that looks like it's gonna be okay. Okay. Oh, look at that. Can you see that? That actually worked. So that kept that. All right, got the new one on. Got it, the ceremonial finger swipe of oil around the, the rubber seal. And now I'm putting it on hand tight. That's what I was taught, nothing more, nothing less. So there we go, new filter on. Got our hours, got the date on there. All right, so now let's uh, let's see if we can get oil back into it without spilling it everywhere. So I've got a plan for getting oil into this thing. Let me show you something. Down here is where the fill port is. You got all of this in front of you. Now, maybe it would be a little bit easier if you took the loader off, but you still have the loader bracket right in front of you. Maybe it'd be okay if you took this thing off the screen, but I don't, I don't know that it would help that much. So, this is my plan. I got me a bendable, extendable funnel. So, the plan is is to get that down in there and then this up here somewhere and then we pour from up here so let's see if we can get this working all right so let's see if i can even get this open yep that wasn't hard okay that was actually easy thank you jesus set it over here out of the way now, where can I go? I need to get up. There we go. That's pretty good. All right. I think that. I think that might work right there. 
I need two of these. You can see that. Um, at least. And then we'll check it. We'll check our level. And see how much more we need. All right. Oh, please. Two gallons. Let's see. That looked all right. All right. Look at that. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's right in the middle of that. So that's like perfect. And I'll leave it right there. Getting the uh, gear oil changed out. Um, you've got your fill port and your dipstick right here, of course. And I, I just kind of open that up so it air can get through. You've also got a breather here that you know you want to open up, um, and then down here is where you'll actually drain it. From. So I've done this side. I'm doing the other side and then the center. There's a drain in the center. So you want to do all of those. Nothing too exciting here. Um, gear oil takes a long time to drain out. It's not quick. So we'll just uh, let this uh, let this do its thing and then we'll um, we'll fill it back up. Okay, so we're starting day two of this project. Um, I made a huge uh, mess of things uh, when I was uh, draining the oil, so that was fun. Um, when I pulled the plug to drain the axle, um, I rubbed my leg across um, one of the... Uh, grease points on the loader so I got molly grease all over my pants so that was a bonus so uh, but I got all that taken care of I got the oil done I got the um, the fluid and the axle changed so all of that is good final drives all that right all that's good to go I got the levels good so now we're gonna move to the hydraulic fluid which seems to be the real the most fun part of everyone's um, maintenance, right, on their tractors. So there's a lot of hydraulic fluid that goes into this thing. The manual calls for around 11 gallons, I, I believe. But let's talk about that for a second. So with both the engine uh, fluid, the oil for the engine, and the gear oil for the axle, I'm going to tell you, I did not use what was called for in the, in the manual. So I've got the manual, the operator manual, and I've got the workshop manual. And both of those line up. They both match. And this was, it was different. Um, I, I don't know for sure what I used on the motor oil, but on the axle, the gear oil for the axles, I got out about 3.8 gallons. And that's what I put back in. It was about 3.8 gallons and it shows perfect i'm at the i'm at the that very top notch on the on the uh the dipstick for it so um the um the manuals call for like 4.33 
I believe, gallons, and I did not use that. So, in fact, um, I put in four, I just put in four gallons into the, uh, in, into the axle because I figured I was going to need more than that, and I would start there, and then we could, you know, we could try that, and it was too much, and I had to uh, bleed some out. And so, uh, just know, you know, start with, I don't know, what I don't know what that is. I'll have to look that up. Maybe 75% of what it calls for and then check it and then add more as you need to. Um, you know, because, and, and I don't know if, you know, if oil is, you know, if there's some gear oil still in there, right, that it can't all drain out. But I mean, half a gallon is a good amount. I, I wouldn't think, because uh, that's what it, that's what would be left in there would be half a gallon. Uh, that's the difference between 3.8 and, you know, 4.33. So, um, man, that's just a lot of oil, gear oil trapped in there somewhere. So I, I would be, I'd be cautious about that. Use 70, 75% of what it calls for and then check it and add as you go. But with the hydraulic fluid, I don't know. I'm not sure. So but I can tell you this, so it's a lot. And where do you put it all as you're draining it? You know, I've seen people use these five bucket pails and everything, and that's um that's a lot of that's a lot of uh pails and you gotta move it really quick, right? And uh as it starts, you know, as one of them starts filling up, you you move it really fast and try to go over and uh add this, you know, put the second pail under there. Um so out here we don't have i'm i'm on the driveway out here at this uh, rental house doing this and we've got um it's not the smooth concrete right it's that uh it's that outside rocky kind of stuff so the it, you don't it doesn't slide over it as easy as it would the smooth stuff so um i've got uh so i i, I thought about that and i was like man what could i do to not have to switch buckets and everything and so I got to looking and I found that Viver makes these um, huge drain pans. They're massive. And so here's mine. Um, this thing, I don't even know what it holds, like 16, seven, uh, 17 gallons is what it says. So this holds 17 gallons. So plenty, the size that I need. And um, I found... I found this on Amazon. It was on sale for uh, like $99.99. So I got that for a hundred bucks. I've already used it on my Kubota um, and it worked great. Um, I, um, it's got a little pump on the front. This is a manual. You can get an electric pump um, or you can actually unhook this and connect your um, cordless drill to it, which is kind of cool. So um, I've actually used this already and pumped it all out back into the, uh, the barrels and um, it's got a little bit left in there, but you can you can definitely clean that out uh, fairly easily with uh, some shop towels and and get that out. Oh, and that's another thing. So all that uh, you know, I've I have I have planned this out for for a while now. I mean, pretty much a, a year since I've had this tractor. And I just, I wanted everything to go super smooth for this. And, um, you know, it's, what do they say about the best laid plans? You know, I, I think it's funny. I, I did all this planning and um, I think uh, I, I maybe I gave God a chuckle, you know, uh, preparing this. So what's funny is last weekend I was out at um, our property working, at the house working, and um I stopped at Tractor Supply to grab some gear oil for another implement. And while I was I was walking out, I know there was a box of uh, shop towels there. And I was like, you know what? I should just go ahead and get some of these. So, you know, because I didn't have any with me. I actually didn't bring any with me out there. So I was like, I should get these for out there. So I get them and I didn't even use them at the, at the property. But it's always good to have another box of shop towels. What's funny is this, uh, when I, when I, uh, got um motor oil everywhere here the uh i ran out in my the box that i had at the house and if it wasn't for that box that i bought ha at tractor supply i wouldn't have had enough so you know it's funny when i bought those you know uh 
I bet God was sitting up there like, mm -hmm, you think that's for this, uh, for, for right now at your house, but this is actually, you're going to really need this at that rental house. So, um, anyway, so it, I mean, thank God I had them because I mean, it was just, let's see if you can see this. So I'm building a, uh, collection of shop towels, used shop towels. There you go. So, um, anyway, so I've got me, you know, hopefully enough shop towels for this project and, and hopefully with this huge, I mean, this thing is massive. So hopefully with this huge, um, drain pan, I won't need any, uh, shop towels, you know, uh, fingers crossed, uh, please Jesus, let that be the case. Um, so anyway, let's get down there and let's get this drained out. And then we're going to see how bad the, the filters are. I've got two of them. Uh, I was, uh, TYM provided those for me, the first two for the 50 hour service when I bought the tractor, which is awesome. Um, people say that they have a hard time. This is the one, right? These are the filters that ha they have a hard time getting off. Well, um, they also say that, uh, you know, cause they're painted on at the factory. So they, they put all the filters, everything on there, and then they come in and spray everything down the, the, the frame and everything with that uh, layer of paint. And, um, so those get sprayed on those get, there's a layer of paint on those. And they, people say, if you'll take, um, an X-Acto knife or a, a, a razor blade and kind of go around the edge, you can cut that paint and loosen that up. Um, but again, I bought these and I actually found in the box and I bought these to help and this, it worked great on the, on the uh, engine filter. But um, I bought these. They, these fit around the back of the filter. They've got teeth. These, they've got teeth gnarled into them. And I actually found in the box, um, it came with a uh, 3 8 to half inch adapter. So um, I'm going to use that and use my bigger, um, my, uh, bigger uh, uh, ratchet for this. But anyway, so we're going to get under here and we're going to get the, the fluid drained. And then we'll... We'll work on this and see how that goes. All right, let's do it. Okay, so something interesting. Um, the drain plug for this is a 7 8 fits it the best. Uh, much better than anything else. So um, never had that happen before on the TYM. So let's uh, get this cracked open. in a better position because that is in there. All right, here we go. 11 gallons of fluid. Let me center that up. All right, 11 gallons of fluid. I'm a little nervous about this and it's spilt everywhere every other time I've done this. Ooh, look at that. That's, that's interesting. There we go. All right, we'll leave that there. Oh, that's magnetic. Oh. 
There's a little bit of, I don't know if you can see that, a little bit of stuff on that, but not bad. All right, let's let that drain. I'll go uh, open it up there so it'll get rid of that suction. All right, so while the last bit is dripping out, I'm gonna clean that off. But, let's see, just kind of look at, so that was what was on there. It's not much, so, but a little bit. We'll get all that cleaned off. I can't get to these anywhere else, so I'm going to do something I hope is not dumb. I'm going to try to loosen them from over here, and then, and just, just to get them loose, right? Just to get them to turn, and then maybe I can get them out from the other side. I'm having a time getting that locked in. Let's think about this. So I need to pull that. So I need them to go the other way. There. All right. There we go. All right. Man. All right. Here we go. Okay. I felt like it had a good grip right there. Looks like it's turning. Oh man. Okay. Here we go. Mm. Oh, I think it's turning. Okay. Now here's the question: How much do I turn before it starts dumping oil on me? I think I could get it from out there now. Let's do the same one here. Whew. Mm. It's a beast. somehow
<clears throat> I think that moved a little. Okay. I think it's moving. It's moving. Y'all liking my grunting? Oh man, that. Oh, something just dirt. That scared me. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely moving now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I can get it from the other side. Yeah, I can get that one. Let's make sure that other one is moving as easy as that. Oh, man. That was no joke there. No joke. Those people were serious. Dang. I am. What are you feeding that guy? Yeah, okay. I can move both of those. All right. Here we go. Good. Now it's loose by hand. Woo, hey, not much came out so far. Oh, there it comes. Yeah. All right, everything's going in the pan. Look at that. It's one pan. Oh, now I spilt some of it on the side, but that was my fault. <sighs> Not much, though. Finally get to a point where it just kind of frees up and it's real simple to move. There, ah, there it is. I think now I can maybe do it by hand. Alright. 
that. Oh, look at that. Folks, I gotta tell you, the part I thought was gonna be the hardest, most difficult, uh, I'm not saying it's the easiest, but I mean, it, it was much simpler than what I thought it was gonna be. That was great. All right, um, I'm gonna leave those filters on there for the moment, and then I'm gonna go get the other filters. hand tight. Get your hand tight on your two. To it, I'm gonna put a little bit, of, a little bit more on these since I can't really get it good. I'm not gonna put much at all on this. So this one needs to go this way. finger. Okay. This one was hand tight. So I'm going to just do a little bit. There we go. All right. I think we're okay. I think we're good. All right. We're going to go with that. Think we're good, what do y'all think? Yeah? Me too. All right, let's fill her up. All right, at the back of the tractor. Now, I've got another one of these. I got a little magnet hook. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but I was hoping that maybe I could attach this somewhere and it could hold it. So, so I need, the book says 11.1 .1 gallons. But like I said, I'm not 100% sure about that. So I've got, I'm using mobile Delvac tractor hydraulic fluid. These are two and a half gallon uh, tubs. So I'm gonna do, uh, we'll, we'll get, 
we'll get three of these in there, right? And then we'll see, we'll kind of take it slow from there. All right, here we go. Make sure nothing is, this funnel is small, so I can't put a whole bunch in there. I mean, that's really about it. Oh yeah, I'm right at it. Look at that. Right at it. All right. So I'll tell you this. I don't know, maybe 10 and a half gallons, maybe, um, is what it took to fill it back up. And the book says 11.1. .1. But there's no way to get all of that fluid, right? Um, out of the system there, um, you know unless you go to each point and crack that open and drain it so and that brings up kind of an important point so I've got my three-point arms all the way down so the the cylinder that raises your three-point arms there's no fluid um, holding that up so there's no fluid pushing against that cylinder so so I've got my three-point arms all the way down I've got my um, front end loader is, you know, as far down as it'll go. And then I've got the cylinders pulled in all the way on the, on the front end of it, right? Where the, the bucket, I've got forks on it right now, but the forks are pulled all the way up. The cylinders are all the way in on that. So I've got as much fluid out as I possibly can without cracking lines and draining things. So I've got one more thing. So I bought me some of this um, dye from, can you see that? Yeah, from John Deere. Um, I'm going to put this in here. And hopefully it'll allow me to see. That's what that is. You can see that. It's a... Uh, dye for hydraulic oil so I guess I don't even need to mix it up do this without dumping it everywhere it's a red red dye All right. it's not much but hopefully It'll be enough to help see it. Oh, I got some on my fingers. I didn't even mean to do that. Look at that. I got red fingers now. I, I was thinking about it. I should have wore gloves. I got red fingers now. So I'm going to put this back on. There we go. All right. We're done. So my camera's got about 6% left. So let's see if we can get through this. Um, yeah, that took me a lot longer than I thought. Um, m mostly because I'm just, I'm not, I'm in a place where it's not the easiest to do this. Um, so uh, my garage is just full of junk. Um, you know, this is at this rental. So, um, I just, I feel really unorganized right now. And, and hopefully when we move into our house, um, you know, I can remedy some of that. So, but um, check your fluids um, when you're putting them in. Don't just go by the book, what the book tells you should go in there. We just saw that I only did about 10 and a half gallons of hydraulic fluid when the book told me 11.1. .1. So there's probably fluid still in there. The uh, front axle. Um, I did uh, a lot less 
3.8 um, gallons out of uh, 4.33 is what it told me. Um, and then on the engine oil, I, I can't remember, but I know it was a little bit less than what it said, but not much. The engine oil was much closer than everything else. But still, just do about 75, 85%, 75, I'd say 75%, and then start checking it, doing a little bit more and checking it, doing a little bit more and checking it. That's what I would suggest. It'll take longer, but um, it's a lot easier adding more than it is taking it out. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, throw down cardboard, a tarp, something, because um, even with the best laid plans, stuff seems to get everywhere. But anyway, um, I'm really glad that I was able to do this. I, I've been planning. I've been planning it since I bought my tractor, right? Um, and I bought the oil and uh, hydraulic fluid and gear oil and all of that um, a, a while back. Uh, you know, getting prepared for it. So, um, you know, uh, I used the uh, Valvoline for the um, engine oil and the axle oil. The axle oil on the Valvoline is rated for. Um, API GL4 and GL5. There's not a lot of them that say that. Most of them just say GL5 now, but this one specifically calls out GL4 also. So, um, you know, those those high pressure additives that they've got in there, um, I'm, I'm guessing that they've got something that protects um, yellow metals if it does support the GL4 spec. So um, that's pretty good to know that you can find something like that. And then, um, I used the uh, mobile Delvac, um, the uh, tractor their tractor hydraulic fluid, which is like mobile fluid 454, I think. Um, it's the same thing. It says that on the bottle, but it's uh, for my tractor. Read your manual because some tractors use different oils. Some of them from TYM specify TF 500, which is Yanmar specification. That probably mean, that means they probably have a Yanmar built hydraulic transmission hydraulic system. So you need to look at that. But mine specifies um, just a uh, API GL4 fluid that is um, a tractor hydraulic fluid. And you wanna make sure it's a tractor hydraulic transmission fluid. Um, so uh, anyway, but uh, this stuff is supposed to be really good. I bought all this a while back. Um, I'm kind of interested in the TYM fluid um, now that they have that. So I don't know, we'll see. And also, um, I went with, uh, 15W40 on my engine oil. When I get up a little bit, uh, maybe hundred hours or something like that, I might switch over to synthetic on that, but I wanted to, you know, break that engine in with the regular, um, oil. So, um, lots of discussion about this on the TYM groups on Facebook. Um, if, if you're not on there, go to the groups there's and you can use the search function in there and look at these discussions that we've had we've got a lot of smart people in there talking about this stuff a lot of opinions you know um and you know uh what they say about opinions everyone's got one and they all stink they're yeah anyway but um but there are a lot of opinions in there you got to just use some critical thinking when you go through it you know and really think about it and you know a lot of it's some of it's really good information um, so, uh, I've learned a lot from that group, uh, from a lot of people in that group. Um, just people sharing just, just a random comment of nugget, of a, a, a random comment, a nugget of just some piece of information that they know about. Then I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I'll go research it. And sure enough, you know, I'm like, man, that really blows my mind. I had no clue. So a lot of good information in there on that. So anyway, well, thanks for watching. Um, I hope this was as entertaining for you as it was frustrating for me. Uh, but I, I did. I'm glad I did it. And um, I think everybody should do it at least once. But anyway, so y'all stay safe out there. Um, and uh, I'll see y'all in the next video. Good Lord willing. Have a good one.